Okay, so we got our uh, barrel, and we're gonna turn this into a barrel stove to boil our sap to produce maple syrup. Uh, but for now, while we're trying that, take a look at how you can uh, use an Instapot. Instapot maple syrup, will it syrup? Okay, we're gonna try something different. Normally I'm boiling my sap down using propane, uh, the odd time with some fire. Uh, this time we're gonna do Instapot boil down. Uh, I feel like it's gonna take a long time, but let's give it a try. Okay, so first we're gonna hit. Some, some say slow cook it, but I think I'm gonna saute it. Uh, we want it on adjust. There you go, for more heat. And we're gonna time. Not there, it's starting anyway, so. Let's try 30 minutes and go from there. So I just got some little chunks right now. So that'd be all your sap right there, good stuff. Okay. Let's do one and see what happens. We don't have to keep an eye on it. So it didn't take long for it to start melting. It's not really actually hot, but it's enough to go. It's only been on for like 10 minutes. So we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so I put saute on to melt the ice fast, melted it really quickly, and then uh, I still gotta filter all this, but we boil it down a bit. Uh, slow cooker mode, I need four hours. Okay, so on slow cook, with more heat, I only got up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So then I went back to doing the saute mode. Saute mode only lets you go for half an hour though on this thing. Then it shuts off, then you gotta hit it again to go again. Um, but saute, I'm already up to about 170 Fahrenheit. So, now it might be a bit better if I didn't put so much sap in at once, but we're gonna keep trying different ways. Okay, so I'm starting to think the trick is the saute mode does work and works a lot faster, but I think I should have started with like half of the liquid I did start with. Um, it's up to about 180 degrees right now Fahrenheit. Again, I just gotta keep coming into that. Uh, my next thing is maybe I should just throw it on with the lid um, and just keep the, the steam release open. Uh, maybe I'll go faster. And then I can't actually watch what's going on, so that kind of worries me a little. So far, I'm not liking this way. Okay. So it is 12.15 a.m. We finally, well, we're not there yet, but we're going to bed. <laughs> Let's do this again tomorrow. So it is the next day and I'm starting it again. I have ran it through two filters. So it's nice and clear now. And we're almost we're almost there. Don't keep an eye on it. But so far, this isn't that practical. Okay, just turn it back on. This is where we gotta be very careful with it. See how there's not as much left. This can go south really fast. And being <laughs> Never done it in the Instapot before. I don't know how fast, <laughs> but let's see. Okay, now that we've got like next to nothing, oh, I see every time I do that, next to nothing in the pot, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this and actually read the temperature with without going over. So I'm gonna actually transfer this now to a small pot and just finish it off on the stove. Um, but realistically, this took a long time for less than five gallons of sap. Um, yeah. Okay. So we got it in this little tiny pot now. And we'll see what we get. Okay, so... What's that been, um... Well, 
yeah, basically like 24 hours to boil down this little bit of uh, sap here. So yeah, if you have like one tree in your property and you're tapping, sure, go for it. But uh, not if you do a couple gallons at a time. Like I usually do boil down about 10 gallons of sap at a time. And that's not going to happen in this thing. So anyways, you can make maple syrup in an Instapot.